you eat ass? Or no? All right, uh, do you eat ass? Oh my God. <laughs> Bad at, bad at all. So gained two two kilos of muscle and lost 0.4, no yeah. one kilo of fat. Yes, yeah. that's pretty yeah. good. Welcome back to a new vlog. You just saw me checking my body fat percentage and stuff like that at Gold's Gym. I had, bro. You see, say hi to the vlog. For, say hi to the vlog, man. How you guys doing? How my you guys doing? Crazy. In Washington D.C. Spin? Yeah, it's called. Spin. Have you seen they they have come with like bikes now, so you can like sit on it too. So, like it's basically basically a bird, but it's like or it's a small bike. Where? Yeah. It's a small bike. You haven't seen it? No. Seriously? What I, mean, I found bro. it. <laughs> Wait, I just came from Gold's Gym. Checked my body fat percentage. I'm going to be going through like a Q&A and stuff like that because I've been asking you guys for to ask questions down below. So I'll go through the Q&A like separately over the video. So that's going to be pretty dope. But as of for now, me and Mike, we're going to go and see if we can find a lift. Wait, so, wait. you can play music on this thing. You can play music on it. Wait, what? This is copyrighted though. I'm out! What are you doing, bro? What? Subscribe to Mike Fenty. <laughs> oh my god, shame is fun, bro. <laughs> Alright, so we're done. We're probably gonna go to the gym right now and hit a workout. So enjoy the workout. for the q and a of this day so i got school in not long so i'm just going to do a couple questions and then i'm going to do the other questions at school uh but i have also planned out like a sketch to do today so i'll probably do that at school so definitely like keep watching the video because it's going to be it's going to be entertaining <laughs> first question how is betsy doing betsy's doing fine peter betsy's doing fine Will you be at Comic-Con in July? 100% mark, I will be at Comic-Con. There's no doubt. Um, why will two Why will the summer of 2019 be the best year of your life so far? Well, first of all, I'm gonna be shredded. That's 100%. So that's probably one of the factors why it's gonna be my best e summer and also I'm gonna be trying to collaborate with a lot of other youtubers and just trying to take a step deeper into the fitness industry because that's basically what I want and uh, what makes you should we see who is your biggest inspiration so my biggest inspiration I would say like I, I don't want to sound narcissistic but I am my own motivation i really motivate myself and that i want to be a better version of myself that motivates me but i always have like people that motivates me obviously uh, one of my good friends the guy who asked this question <coughs> nadim <laughs> he uh, is one of my big inspirations too because he literally came from bosnia he's only been living here for like a year and now he works with fucking uh j-lo and a-rod and like that's that's fucking sick he started off it like shooting people like photography and stuff like that and he just came so far what's your three main lifts so my bench is 275 pounds or 125 kilos my deadlift is 455 or 206 kilos and my squat is super trash it's like two no it's 305 like three plates uh that's a long time ago by the way i, I don't squat that much now <laughs> what type of cardio do you prefer so i prefer lists over hit just because like i feel like i can do hit there's no worries at all but like i'm i like lists more so like i do List stands for low 
intensity steady workout so that's why i do stairmaster i do like 30 minutes of stairmaster ish tips to lose fat but still build muscle okay so this is 100 percent going to be a hard one if you've been working out for more than two years it's going to be super hard for you to like lose fat while keep gaining muscle because like the first two years when you work out you're in this newbie phase and it's going to be way more easier to pack on more muscle size but after that it's going to be super hard i wouldn't say it's impossible to build muscle while losing fat it depends on your diet it depends on your body type there's a lot of things but i would 100 percent recommend doing one of them at a time so like if you are over for a male if you're over like 20 percent body fat do not bulk at all and like for a girl if you're like 30 do not bulk uh but if you're lower than that uh, i would 100 percent just like start cut um uh, start cutting until you're like at a lower percent body fat and, and then make your body ready for that bulk because like when you start off with lower body fat is you're gonna put on less body fat and it's way better for your overall physique hundred percent so when you when you get to shred down after the bulk it's gonna be way easier for you, you can really think about both of them at the same time I would allow like focus on either bulking or shredding so shredding it's basically a caloric deficit uh, and bulking is a caloric surplus so it all depends on your body fat it all depends on your what your goals are and fitness is a marathon not a sprint remember that so if things gonna take time a hundred percent it's gonna take time but good question uh, did you know what did you see yourself coming as far as you have now a few years ago and that's a good question actually I didn't think about like my future I didn't really know what to do uh, moving to LA for me was just like a impulse decision kind of but I am super glad that I did because like I'm that's the best decision I've ever done in my whole life um, and I didn't think that I would come this far to be honest like with YouTube uh, with Instagram with uh, social media with like meeting other people all the new friends I've got it's just ridiculous how fast it goes and I'm, I'm super excited about that but anyways guys I am done with the questions right now I'm gonna do some more questions at school I think Dorantino will join me for that so that's gonna be fun I see you guys at school. My butt. Like butt and butt or butt and booty? <laughs> like butt and butt or like butt? Butt and booty. A booty? In a booty. So you eat ass? No. Okay guys, so we're in a library right now basically. Mm-hmm. Because uh, we were like, yeah, we had two hours between classes. So I was like, yeah, I'll just come in here and record some Q&A questions. Right? And Dorantino is joining me. Yep. Uh, okay, so I asked on I asked on Instagram and I also like put it on Instagram, I put it on Snapchat, I put it basically like everywhere. Uh, so we got a couple of questions right here. Because I'm just gonna pick randomly. How do I get a big chest? That's a that's a good starter. That's a good starter. So as you may know, I got a big ass chest. Uh, it's mainly mainly genetics. I'll say mainly genetics and how you work out a certain body part. So like when I started working out, I started working out like only chest for like a year. So that's kind of how I developed my my big chest though. And you gotta eat. <laughs> you gotta eat, you gotta, you gotta be eat like, good. Yeah, you better bulk, that's important, that's super important. My favorite food, uh, I would say like, it depends like if it's sweet or if it's, if it's, if it's savory. But I would say like for savory, sushi. And and for sweet, hundred percent donuts. How's yours? Yeah, you love donuts. Oh my um, god, donut oh my god, I'm such a sweet tooth. Not at all. Like I don't like sweet things. You don't? No. I mean I do, but like I'm not like a, a huge fan tooth. of it, no. You know? But I love burgers. That's my favorite. Then burgers. What's your favorite burger though? In and out? No, hell no. no. In and out is trash. Damn, Sorry if you don't hell? agree, but In and Out is trash. Oh shit. What's your favorite burger then? Mm, I don't have a favorite burger. I feel like just like burgers in general. Just Cheeseburgers. Like burgers. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, when are you visiting Norway next time? So I don't know. I might be coming down for this summer. We'll see. It depends because like the plane ticket is like 
it's so expensive and I'm going to apply for something called OPT now and that's basically like a, work, a working visa so I can work here for one year. So that's my plans, but I might come down in to Norway in a couple of months. How does your dream girl look like? Ooh. I can answer this for you. Uh, you can answer that yeah, for me? Yeah, okay. Okay, explain my, okay, explain my dream girl. It's a Norwegian or Swedish blonde girl, <laughs> blue eyes, fit, uh, a little booty, not a lot of booty, but like a little, little booty. Yeah. And yeah. That's pretty much it. <laughs> but, but like a dream girl for me, it depends like, cause when you say like, what's the dream girl? I think like the looks is like the most important thing. I don't, I don't mean that looks is the most important, but like when people ask that question, they think of like, oh, what, sh what does she look like? So I, I'll probably say like, I don't mind blonde or like, I think blonde, but like, I like brunettes too. Uh, mm -hmm. Eye color doesn't really matter for me. She has to be fit. She has to be working out and have a good body. That's super important because like if I take care of my body the way I take care of my body, I want her to do the exact same thing, right? She isn't doing it now. You can't get her into fitness. Oh yeah, of course. Like, like if that, she you know? if she's not doing it right now, yeah. obviously she can like start doing it after. But like it, it it's important for me to like have the same qualities and same like interests. If if a girl wants sex but I'm not interested, I'm obviously not gonna like it. I don't give a fuck if she looks like fucking. Maria Carey or who the fuck is Maria Carey? Uh, okay, next question. Uh, do you see yourself as a sponsored athlete in a few years? Uh, short answer, yes, 100%. I really do. Because, like, I believe uh, in myself that much. So, like, I will only continue to make these videos. I will continue to give you guys value. And I want to just like reach out to many to as many people as possible, right? So while I'm in that process, obviously like people will come to me and be like, "Yo, uh, can you sponsor this product? Blah blah blah. Can you do this? Can you do that?" Uh, when you get like more famous on Instagram, I want to be with the company that I literally use every day and I think is is good. I wouldn't join a company just like sell out. I would not do that at all. But. For sure. But yeah, I 100% see myself as sponsored in a few years. You think so too? Yourself or me? Me. Yeah, you. You think I'll get sponsored soon? Yeah, probably if you keep like working. Keep and... working on it? Yeah. Uh, what are you going to do next year? So uh, basically, I'm going to do the. I'm going to apply for OPT so I can work here for one more year. And while I'm here for that one more year, I'm gonna figure out how to stay longer. <laughs> cause I don't wanna, I don't wanna go back to Norway. Cause like I feel like opportunities here, hundred percent. Yeah, especially when it comes to fitness and oh my what God, you're yeah. doing. Yeah, that's true. This is the place to be, definitely. It is the place so. to be, but like it's so hard for us, like international students and stuff like that. Cause like yeah, cause the, like it's so hard to get a visa. Yeah, or just to stay in the country is a lot of work. Yeah, exactly. Just for me, in order for like me and Dorantina to stay here now, we have to go to college. Uh, so was he, when you're done with your education slash school, uh, what's your plan? So, uh, I'm getting a athletic coaching certificate right now, and I'm also getting an ACE certificate. That's basically personal training, but also training athletes and stuff like that. So the thing about me is that I'm obviously like in love with fitness. That's basically everything I do. So I want to become like an online coach, social media influencer, and also like YouTuber. That's like what I want to do. Cause like, I want to have a job that doesn't feel like I am working. So like I can literally go the whole day without like thinking about work, but I am working. Bloatness from creatine on shredding. Okay. So. Being bloated while taking creatine is like totally normal because like or at, at the starting phase where you like put on more creatine at the start of the first week when you're in that loading phase you're doing like 15 to 20 grams of creatine monohydrate or monohydrate is what I use there's like different kinds mm -hmm. uh, but then you will obviously have more water in your muscles so you're going to be more puffy and stuff like that. Uh, but I would also say like, cause like creatine is basically like, you can compare it with carbohydrates cause like it, it takes water and puts it into your muscle. Cause like 
For what creatine is for is that they're used when you're doing explosive like exercise. Like when you use your muscle uh, type 2 fibers, that's when you like need that creatine. You can get creatine for like meat and stuff like that too, but like not in that quantity you want it. <laughs> but yeah, you, you will feel bloated sometimes, but it's totally normal. Don't even stress about it at all because like it's totally normal. This we'll Take this as the last one. Uh, what machine gets rid of your love handles? So, that that's a really good question actually. But uh, there is no such thing as spot reducing fat. You cannot choose where you want to lose fat on your body. That is not possible. It's like, it all depends on your body composition and where your body will take that fat. So you can literally go to like a bicep curl. And you're doing bicep curls, right? You're like, oh my god, I'm gonna lose fat right here. No, that's not, that's not the case. You can do bicep curls and you can lose fat on your fucking pinky. Like, if your body just takes fat from wherever it wants, right? But, most important thing, just being a caloric deficit, I'll say, being a caloric deficit, so find out what your maintenance calories is, uh, drop it down by 500, and then you're basically set to go. I would 100% do that. But yeah, there's no such way to spot reduce fat loss. But guys, that's it for the questions right now. But yeah, I just wanted to have Dorian T92, because like, we had some spare time, and I was like, yeah, why not just record it at school, right? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, follow me on IG, yeah. Dorantina underscore N. Also, uh, I might start my own YouTube channel. Oh, hell yeah, you should do that. Yeah. I told you that. Yeah. You guys need to su su subscribe. <laughs> you better fucking subscribe right now. We're about to ask people if they're eat ass. Do you want to join? Of course. No, that's not funny. That's not funny. That is so far down, dude. <laughs> you're crazy. I can oh, do it too, though. You are so serious, and now you're like, I can do it too. I can do it too. <laughs> if you're gonna ask people if they eat booty, because I feel like it's important to know. Yeah. So we're basically going around asking. If people eat ass. <laughs> no, like seriously though, for yeah. real. Like I'm not joking. He yeah. like, you know. He, I'm, I'm joking. Like he has I can't. A good sense of humor. I'm trying so hard to like keep a straight face, but like yeah. he's dead ass. No, serious. I'm serious. Like he he ain't. Ain't. Ask yeah. Ask some girls. Ask some girls. Those girls. Okay. All right. Um, right here. So you know, serious? Like, ask, ask, ask the question. All right. Uh, do you eat ass? Oh my god. <laughs> don't. No. Why not? Ew, that's gross. True? Yes. That's gross as fuck. Okay, bye. Damn, you ain't gonna get a lot of yeses today. I ain't huh? getting no yeses. I'm the only yes so far. I don't really do that shit, but like, <laughs> you know. Uh, we're having this, um, it's for class, psychology class. We're going around and like asking people questions and stuff like that. All right. uh, and my question for you today is that do you eat ass? This? Do you eat ass? Ass. Ass. Booty. Booty. Like peaches. Peace. Do you eat ass or not? Say for no fast, little yes. No, it's no. psychology. No, it's psychology. No, it is. You don't? No. Why not? What kind of psychology do you have? Yeah, what do you mean, why not? That's normal. Do you eat ass? Do you eat ass? No. You don't? Why not? It's not my thing. She's lying. Like, like, we all do that shit. You know, huh? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> you eat ass? Why not? No. Why not? Because I'm gonna picture like something in my head. Like, it's a shit that you think about to fly out. Why not with silver everything almost? Huh? We sold out. No. Like, you guys don't have any ass in there? Yeah. No, no ass? ass? Like, like booty? No. You guys don't like booty? Like booty, like I, I, like eggs. Ass. I'm sorry, I got a little eggs, but uh, like, like you know, like the peach emoji. <laughs> I was like, like, is it like a Chinese chocolate? Uh, so you don't got none of that soul food. So when did you start eating ass? I started eating ass at the age of 15. <laughs> you, see, you heard that right now? <laughs> you should have seen her reaction, bro. <laughs> yeah, it was like the age of 15. But, um, I started binge eating. And, uh... Okay, guys, so it's a couple days after I am home right now. Uh, I just want to say uh, the pranking and all. Me and Dorantino, we ask each other that all the time just for like fun. And we were like, why not just 
just go around on campus and ask people that. And Mechi, he was also down for it, so that's why I did it. But uh, if you guys like challenges and stuff like that, like I am open for suggestions, everything. Cause like I like to try out new stuff. It's all about trying new stuff, and it's all about making content. Cause I am not only doing this whole YouTube thing not only for me, but I'm doing this for you guys too. So the next video is gonna be my birthday. So we'll see what I can do on my birthday. But if you have any suggestions comment down below also if i missed your question in the q a i'm sorry i had a lot of questions and that instagram is pretty lag because like if if someone asks one question like it just gets spammed like a hundred times like i had a lot of flooded like my questions were flooded but it was like a lot of the same questions and a lot of things like that but if i miss your question comment down below or and i will 100 percent answer it in the next video yeah, this vlog was basically just me uh, having fun and uh, doing a Q&A for you guys and also just throwing in a little some challenge thingy just for fun. <laughs> so guys, if you liked the video, comment down below, smash the thumbs up button and I'll see you guys in the next video.